Hey YouTube, what it is? Your boy Rampack13 coming at y'all with another uh, fucking post game review video. The NFC Championship, Green Bay Packers at the Atlanta Falcons. Unfortunately, we fell short today. We fell short 44 21 Atlanta beat our ass and shit. We came to their dome. They wasn't having that shit. They was fucking ready to go. I don't think they had any injury problems except for Julio Jones with like his foot or some shit, but that was not a factor. That nigga torched Ladarius Gunter as expected. Like I told I told y'all. Like why is why is Ladarius Gunter covering number one receivers? Why? And a lot of times he was playing man too, so it's like it's like, you're asking for us to get fucking torched in the secondary. You're, you really are. Demarius Randall, he sucks too. Like, Ladarius Gunter, he really got to go. He's out. <laughs> like, I better not see his ass again next season. Or else, we got a serious problem in our coaching staff. Demarius Randall... I wouldn't be surprised if he leave if he left too. Like he's good enough to be like a fucking fifth string DB or some shit. He's like just good enough to be on a team, maybe like practice squad or something. That's it. He ain't, he ain't good enough to be no starter. Yeah, I know they're young and shit. Like rookies, uh, rookies, second year, maybe third year corners, but. They're horrible. They've been getting shit done all fucking season. Damn, I miss uh, Sam Shields, though. I miss him, yo. Big time. And Casey Hayward. Casey Hayward, too. Um, fucking miss him. Which we never released him. He's a fucking Pro Bowl in the Chargers now. Like... Like a slap in the face. Like, why'd you release him but cup these injury prone motherfuckers that can't even cover? You know what I mean? I knew coming to this game that this was going to happen. They got number one fucking offense, especially the passing game. I'm sure that shit's number one against our depleted secondary. Like, that's asking for a disaster. It's really asking for a disaster. It's a no-brainer. Torch or secondary. You don't even got to fucking run the ball. I bet you if they never ran the ball one time, they would still kill us. I bet you. Like, if we don't got the personnel to cover receivers, take advantage just like they did. And I expected it to happen too. Man, like, when that kickoff started, I'm thinking like, man, this ain't going, this ain't going to end well at all. Like, we're going to get our ass beat, or at least it's going to be a shootout. I expected a little bit more to be a shootout though than us getting our ass beat like how we did. Um, shit, what happened? Like, it, they had a third down a few times, but they converted every time. They're saying they, um, fucking. Scored the touchdown on the opening drive like seven consecutive times or some shit. I'm thinking like, damn, really? When they set that up on the screen? And shit, look, here you know, they did the same thing. They scored the touchdown on their opening drive. And then we got the ball back. Well, we got the ball. And then we went upfield. I thought it was going to be a touchdown by us, but... Well, we didn't convert on third down near the uh, red zone. And I'm like, fine. Fuck it. Convert a field goal. But field goal, he missed. And I'm like, instantly, I'm like, here we go. Here we go. Once he missed that field goal. Because our defense ain't going to stop him at all. And then we can't, cap we can't be opportunistic on uh, offense. We can't score points when they're fucking near waiting for us that's how you lose games that remind me of like when we was playing Tennessee and Indianapolis kind of games when we was losing those games 
shouldn't have been losses, but shit, it happens, you know? Mm. Shit. Our, yeah, our whole secondary. Not the whole secondary, but um, Morgan Burnett, Haha -ha Clinton Dix, and Micah Hyde. I want those three to stay. But everybody else, they can go. We need to invest in corners. We really do. The safeties can stay, but the corners, we really need, like, top picks on those. Badly. Like, our first two picks should be corners. No fucking joke. First two picks are corners. Then the third pick should be a running back. Because I think, hey, Lacey's, I think he's out of Green Bay after this. I think he is, like... I'm pretty sure I read that shit somewhere or it was on the NFL website itself, some shit. I think Eddie Lazy's gone. And, um, I believe Micah High is going free agency or some shit, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Hopefully he's not. Or if he is, hopefully we pick his ass up again. He's a good DB. He is an all-around DB. We need people that can play all around like that. It's very useful. Especially when we injury prone motherfuckers keep getting injured. Like what what game was we completely healthy all season? Probably the first game. I bet you somebody got hurt in that first game. <laughs> but I don't know. Some something about this team. We always getting hurt. Like our key players always getting hurt. Like even mm, Christian, Christian Michael, he was hurt. And it's like, damn it, it has to be something about Green Bay that makes their players get injured. Unless he was hurt before, before he got released for, by uh, Seattle or something. I'm not sure about his history, but shit, when I saw that he was hurt, I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. And, um, like, pick this out. Nelson was hurt. Cobb was hurt. Cook was hurt. I mean, throughout the season, though. Nelson, Cobb, Cook. Um, Lacey, Starks. Rogers was banged up. Some of our old line was fuck, fucking hurt. And, um, who else? Adams, yeah, Adams was hurt. That's hard. Like, that's like our whole fucking offense. <laughs> I don't know if this is normal or not. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's our whole offense. Literally. Except for, like, the fullback. Yeah, and Montgomery, he was hurt even. At one point. Defense. You already know the corners. Sam Shields, he's fucking missing in action all season. I think he's going to get released, too. I mean, damn, Sam Shields, he's my boy, though. Like, he is my favorite corner in the team. But if he can't play for us, you got to go, you know? Like, and hopefully we get somebody, like, that can replace him very well or even better. Like, damn, it's saying, like, goodbye to your fucking best employee or something at work. Like, it sucks when they're going, you know what I mean? But it's whatever. It's, it is what it is. It's business. Yeah. Matthews was hurt. Nick, Nick Perry was hurt at one point. Thomas was hurt. Martinez was hurt. Um, Burnett was hurt. I don't think Ha Ha Clinton Dix was hurt at all. But you get the point. Injuries killed us all season. We just overcame them. At that winning streak. Like, it was killing us even when we was losing a lot, too. But somehow we turned it around. And even with as many injuries we got, we was just winning games. We was overcoming our injuries like any other year. But this year, I felt like it was bad. Like, one of the worst years, maybe. In my opinion. I could be wrong. But um, back to the game. Fuck, I get off track so easily. <laughs> Back to the game. Our offense 
We were not opportunistic at all. We missed the field goal. We couldn't get, like, we was getting stuff. We was getting upfield and shit, but when we got upfield the second time, Aaron Ripkowski, I was going to fucking punch my TV when he fumbled. I'm like, you got to be fucking kidding me. It's not, I'm not mad that he fumbled, but I'm mad that he only carried the ball with one fucking hand. One on one principles of holding the ball, especially as a fullback. Hold the ball with two fucking hands. Two hands, not just one. And he fumbled because he carried there with just one hand. That shit pissed me off. That's what pissed me off, like, a lot because we needed to get something going real bad. And then you do shit like that. Why are you holding the ball with one hand? Why? And there's like fucking three, four Falcons on your ass. And you carrying that shit with one hand? You deserve to fumble that motherfucker. Rethink what you're doing when you carry that fucking rock. Two hands. Two hands. Damn. Even I know that shit and I'm not a fucking running back. And um, there is one time the Falcons left a golden opportunity for us. They tried to do some reverse play or some shit. They fumbled. Um, I forget who was on it. Jake Ryan. He he um could have recovered the ball, but nope. He fucking played patty cake with that shit. Tried to recover it. It went straight through his arms. Then the Falcons recovered it. And guess what? When they recovered it, they ended up scoring a touchdown on that same drive. How ironic, I know. We can't stop nothing. We can, like, I knew that shit was going to happen, man. We couldn't stop shit. It was 24-0 at the half. Like, it ain't that the fact that they had 24 at the half. It is the fact we had zero points at the half in a championship game. In the game that you played this team before, I believe at the halftime we was down 26 to 24 in week 8. Like we had 24 and they had 26 at the half. But this game they had 24, two points less, but we had zero points. Fuck's going on? This just wasn't our day, I guess. I mean. I don't know, like, shit happens, I guess. Mm. Damn, Facebook and shit, they is all fucking trolling. <laughs> uh, I was like, steaming up and shit, they trolling, like, let's take a seat and take this L, hold on to this L. Michael Jordan faces and shit, like, I don't know, it was funny, because... At the end of the day, it's just a game, you know? Like, it's just football. I didn't bet any money, so I'm not losing money. So, it's just football, you know? I'm just a fan. A diehard fan, actually. But, um, been a fan for 16 years now. So, it's, it's whatever. Could have made our, I believe, sixth Super Bowl appearance. I think... We've been in five Super Bowls and won only, or won four of them out of five. Correct me if I'm wrong. The Falcons, on the other hand, this is their second Super Bowl coming in two weeks. Their second Super Bowl. And I got a feeling right now, I would say they might win it, but in a, like, I'll change my mind in a week, in a week or in a week and a half. I mean, Think about it, it's the Patriots, so you're playing the Patriots. They're gonna beat your ass. I don't care who you are. But that's for another video. Julio Jones, their offense torture us. They like they they had a field day. Everybody thought Atlanta was gonna win. Sure enough, they fucking killed us. Matt Ryan, he had a field day. Better stats than Aaron Rodgers, 
Played way better than Aaron Rodgers today. Four TDs, zero interceptions, I believe. Aaron Rodgers had like three TDs and two interceptions. Which is not bad, but for Aaron Rodgers, it's bad, you know what I mean? Like, we hold him to a higher expectation. We tend to do that. Especially uh, people that aren't Packer fans. Like, they hold his ass to, like, God, like, level, you know what I mean? He's only a human being. But you can't win games when you have no running back and no secondary. You can't, like, you can make it to the Super Bowl, but it's very highly unlikely. Only, only, like, not only that we don't have running back and secondary, it's like we have a lot of injuries, too, which kills us. Like, this man to a fucking team, you know? Like, how how can you win? <laughs> but we have been winning. So, so, whatever. When it becomes to, like, the very big games like Super Bowl and championships, that shit gets exposed very well. And you pay for it, you know? Strength and conditioning coach, get his ass out. Get somebody that actually stretch their players, hydrate the players, fucking condition the players. Like, I feel like they don't do that in the Green Bay. I really feel like they don't. They ha they have to not. You need to fucking stretch. Stretching is important. Like, get it to the point that it hurts and hold it there. Take deep breaths for like 10, 15 seconds. Then on to the next part of your body do that every day I promise you injuries will be less and reduced and hydrate your ass too well water mainly water mainly not Gatorade water um, what else I gotta say yeah like if we would have scored that touchdown that um the drive we fumble, and if we were to score the field goal, when we uh, missed that field goal, that's at least 31 points for us. And if uh, Gunter would have been able to cover a little bit better, the Falcons probably wouldn't have scored during that drive when um, Julio Jones caught like a 10-yard end route, and then he just ran to the sideline to the touchdown. <laughs> That's a seven-point difference right there. So they would have had, like, 37. We've been 31. I'm not saying, like, I'm not making excuses or nothing. It's just the game would have been a lot closer if we was opportunistic and if our offense converted like they've been doing for the later half of the season. But I don't know. Things fall short sometimes. It was one hell of a run for Green Bay, though. One hell of a run. A lot of controversy, a lot of injuries. Had that four-game winning or losing streak. We was four and six. People count us out, including me. <laughs> I count Green Bay out because our defense, I saw nothing in our defense, but when we turned around, we ran that table. It was like, the defense is on a different level. Like, what happened? You know? Like, it's confusing. That shit confuses me, man. You get blown out, like, for four games straight. They even made fucking announcements about that shit. And then we hold opponents... Like, we had averaged 19 points against us or something like that the past eight games. I can't explain that shit. I'm not a defensive coordinator. <laughs> but it is what it is, you know. Um, yeah, we're going to be playing Atlanta again next year. It'll be in Atlanta, I believe. So, looking forward to that, I guess. 
we play Dallas again next year, and it'll be in, in Dallas. We play Seattle once again next year, and I'll be in Green Bay. I feel like we played Seattle for like four, maybe five straight years now. Come on, man. Like, give us a break. <laughs> I mean, not give us a break, but like, shit. Play somebody else, you know? Yeah. Um, we play Dallas, Atlanta, and Seattle. Then we play the whole um, NFC South. We play Tampa Bay and uh, Green Bay. We play the Saints and Green Bay. We play Atlanta and uh, Carolina at their stadiums. Then the AFC side, we pl play the AFC North. Green Bay comes to Pittsburgh. I might go to that fucking game. <laughs> Depends on when it is, though. Uh, Green Bay plays in Pittsburgh, which means Baltimore goes to the Green Bay. And um, I believe Cincinnati will go to Green Bay. And Green Bay will play in Cleveland. I believe, but... Whatever. I'm proud of this team though. I really am. We got to the championship. Fell short. It wasn't like a heartbreak loss either, which is relieving because usually we play exciting playoff games, you know, and lose by like one point or at the last second. But this game wasn't like that. The first couple possessions is like, you know, we're probably going to lose this game. But. It is what it is. Um, I don't think I got anything else to say. What else I got to say? I'll probably say in the comment section or whatever. Um, if I got something else to say. But. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you guys for following my channel. Thanks for all the subscribers. Shout out to my Packer Tech crew. Even though I'm not in the TTC, but I watch them, the ones that do TTC videos, like the Packer Fanatic guy, uh, JR Breaking News, Matt Ogden, Lombardi Lee, all of them cats. Um, they in a Packer Tech, but I'm just a. Uh, Packer video maker, you know what I mean? I'm not in that shit. But until next time I see you guys in the next video. I guess it'll be um the predictions video. Even though I didn't do one for this week because I was busy as shit. I'll go over that in my next video. But it is what it is. It's your boy Rampack13. I'm out. <laughs>